Hi, it's Mr. Rowe. Today I'm going to do a follow-up on my curved acrylic video. I've had a few people contact me wondering how did I create the form to drape the warm acrylic over. And it's actually a very similar technique to create this curve that I use to do curved veneer cabinet boxes. And I'm actually making some right now for a customer and I'm going to use the same technique that I use to create this acrylic form. It's the exact same method. Just so we're clear, when I'm talking about curved veneer cabinet boxes, this is what I'm talking about. This is a walnut cabinet that I made before. And then these are the actual cabinet boxes that I'm making in this video. So all of these curved sections are what I'm curving the MDF to apply the veneer for this pub. Careful, don't hurt yourself. The first thing you have to do is create the ribs for the MDF to be applied to. And I don't have any footage of that because I didn't do that. I ordered them from a CNC router shop where I live. There's uh, quite a few around here in southwestern Ontario. And it's often cheaper than getting a sheet of plywood and cutting it out yourself. And they're all precise and identical. Every kitchen is made this way now. And I would really look into it before you get out the router or uh, a jigsaw and cut out these shapes. Trust me, look into it. There's probably a shop near you and you just have to give them a sketch and you'll get exactly what you need. Unless you have some plywood kicking around that you want to use, that's fine. So I already have the MDF cut to size and I'm applying my magic solution, which I will reveal to the world later in the video, but I'm only applying it to where the radius section was going to be. Because this cabinet has a straight section and a radius, I'm only applying it where the radius is. And I'm applying it very liberally on both sides of the MDF, so it gets kind of saturated. Now I'm going to clamp the saturated MDF onto the ribs of the final cabinet. And if you just bear with me here, this is all gonna make sense. I'm going to clamp it onto this box and then let gravity do the work for me. So some of you are probably thinking, why don't you just bend the MDF around the curve? Well, it all depends on how big the radius is. So this is a fairly tight radius. All the fasteners that I put in, if I didn't do this with the magic solution, you all the fasteners would be wanting to pull through the MDF and I'd have to put a zillion in and those fasteners may show through the veneer or if you're using this for acrylic, it would show up in the acrylic as well. Or the other possibility is that the MDF will break or crack and then you'll also see that in your acrylic form or veneer. This is honestly easier. Now I'm just going to set it up here and let gravity take over. It's magic. I'll quickly go over a couple other uh, materials you could use to do this at the end of the video. That I'm putting on here with these clamps depends on you know the amount of leverage how long the board is so how heavy the board is already so you really have to uh, kind of guesstimate because you don't want this to break okay so you just if it starts drying out you can always add more of the top secret magic solution that I'll reveal in a moment and I'm just adding a little bit extra weight on here it's starting to take the curve and I'm just giving a little bit more incentive on this particular box, it transitions from a radius to a straight section. So I'm adding this uh, piece of Unistrut on here and a couple clamps to help it form in the transition area between curve and go. straight. I think we have the curve. And it's been half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, 45 minutes. Okay, so it's been a little bit over an hour. It already is drying out, you can feel the moisture is coming out. So I just put a fan on it now because it's done everything we want it to do. It's done pretty much the curve. So now we want to get the moisture out as fast as possible. Okay, I got to ask what everyone is thinking. What is going on with your hair? Now remember, I'm making a veneer cabinet box and I'm going to be applying a wood veneer on top of this MDF. If you're using this technique to create a form for acrylic, 
you could put fasteners in the face but just make sure that you make your form wider than your piece of acrylic so you don't transfer any fastener marks into the warm acrylic I'm taking extra care so I can apply a veneer on here and not leave any marks over the entire surface. So clear. And now for the grand reveal of the magic solution. Come over to my neat and tidy sink here and uh, I'll show you how I make my magic solution. So it's very important you turn this on, I would say about one tenth of a turn. You put your tub underneath there. Canadian ice cream and, tubs uh, work best. You just wait. And while we're waiting, I'll tell you a little story. My wife just walks in here and she's like, what are you doing? Like, well, I pondered that for a while and I said, I'll be damned if I know. I don't know what I'm currently doing. She said, very well, and left. I don't know what her problem is. Wading through all her questions. Flooding me with questions. It's starting to make me have to pee. Oh, heavy. Oh. She thinks I'm shallow. Anyway, there you go. It's uh, made. Okay. so stupid <laughs> these are the two upper cabinets from that pub um, it was actually a lot harder to do because the radius is a lot tighter over a wider span and the technique still worked out just as well um, I used a strap in the middle there to keep the center from bowing out and I should add too if you want to make this stiffer I'm only doing um, a single layer you could do multiple layers same technique just keep redoing it on top one on top of another and then laminate those together with an adhesive and speaking of adhesives i learned my lesson doing the lower cabinets before i use glue and the glue just gets sucked into the end grain of the curved ribs so a construction adhesive definitely works a lot better um, it'll make up for any imperfections you have between the mdf and the curved rib. Okay, there are a couple other ways you can do this. One is uh, you can get, it's called bendable plywood, or I call it wiggle board, and see how much that bends? This is like 3 8 thick, and it bends super easy. The only problem with this stuff is it is not flat, and these imperfections, I don't know if you can see them, but it's quite bumpy, all the grains in the wood will they could transfer into your acrylic and this is not uh, if you're doing something else you wouldn't want like you have to be really careful putting veneer on here because that also all those bumps would transfer through it's definitely not a paintable surface that would look like crap the way they do this is regular plywood has all the sheets very very thin are glued both directions right this stuff has the vast majority running the same direction and you can order it two different ways. You can get the 4 by 8 sheet that bends the short way very easily. Or you can get it the op with the, the opposite way and it bends the long way very easily. And the other way is, and there's tons of videos on how to do this online, is you take thicker MDF and you put a zillion kerf cuts in the back. I use that technique on this large MDF cabinet. And if you look at the right hand side of the curve, you can see all the kerf cuts. Uh, but this cabinet is being painted so I could sand any imperfections out. So I hope this video helps. It was a little bit difficult to explain. Once again, here are the cabinets I was working on after they were installed in the pub. Uh, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching.